click on preview now i'm going to hit on download so i'll got downloaded hey guys in this video you are going to learn how to download a file which is present in storage bucket in your orchestrator and i'm asking you can you design something in the uipath app through which i can download a file which is there in the storage bucket you are going to learn a lot of interesting techniques in this video so stay tuned and let's get started now the very first thing that we will do will go to our orchestrator tenant and there i am going to select one of the folder and i am clicking on storage bucket here there is a option add storage bucket let me click on this and click on create a new storage bucket let's give it a name let me type test1 and in the description it's optional but i will say for testing purpose and i'm going to click on add so what happened now we have created a blank storage bucket let me upload a file by clicking on upload new file click on browse and select any one of the file i have got lot many files in the download so let me select any of the file and click on open and click on upload what happened from my computer system i have uploaded a file whose name is so and so done now i am asking you now design something in the uipath app studio through which you can download a file which is there in the storage bucket pretty simple question so how to do that let me show you the very first thing what i have done it's a blank page i have taken a simple blank container inside the container let me add a small button okay and let me keep the button towards the uh, right hand side and i'm going to name it as downloads button okay now anybody who is going to click on the downloads button it's going to take him to a different page where he will see that file to be downloaded and then he can download now for that let me create a new page and i'm going to say a blank page i'm going to select and i'm going to name this page as downloads downloads page okay now this page is currently blank let's go back to the main page where you had the button and i'm going to link this button to the page you know for the page to open so i'll click on events create a rule and open a page and i'm going to select the page which you would like to open so i would like to open the downloads page okay so that should be fine and uh, i'm going to close it so let's test it if you click on preview what would happen it's supposed to the moment you click on download it's supposed to download it will it will open up a different page preview okay all right now the moment i click on downloads page a different page is appearing okay so this is functioning fine now the rest of the thing that we have to design what i will do the moments the downloads page loads i want it to show a file where the user can have an option to download to do that with the very first thing i will do i'll select the page this is a blank page i'll click on events and then click on create a rule and here if i scroll down there is option get file from storage bucket so when the page loads once again check this out here it is saying loaded when you would like to open this when it is getting loaded the rule should get activated so if you see there are so many things many people might not notice for example i am in the main page if i go to the event it says loaded if i click on the container it says clicked on when somebody clicks on the container then the event should start you can see you have to read this okay so let me go to the page and here it says loaded when the page getting loaded when it will get load when somebody clicks on the download button the page will load anytime the page loads at that point of time what should happen i can define in the rule clear so let me define it in the rule section i am going to first you i have used the get you saw this right how i did it let me delete and do it once again click on this and then select get file from storage bucket it is asking me hey you need to mention the storage bucket now to mention the storage bucket have you uh, imported the storage bucket to the uipath app studio no we have not done it to do that click on this inverted triangle 
and then you have to click on uh, storage bucket and then click on IT and select the storage bucket you want okay and in this one I am going to simply click on add and the storage bucket will be added fine now it is easy to define the storage bucket name like this and you need the file name with the extension for that you must get inside the storage bucket and copy the name it is like more like a static uh, download okay it is already shown and a uh, you know, person wants to download that so copy the name paste the name paste the name okay and then it is saying assign file to app variable that means whatever values that you have entered should get stored inside a application variable so what i have done i have clicked on this plus sign and i have created a variable once again click here so in this field let me create a variable let's say b or a okay like this you create a variable so already i had a variable so let me click on this uh, double click on this a variable and it should get added so what i am exactly doing get file from storage bucket is the uh, rule that i have added and i am saying the values are test one the name of the storage bucket and the name of the file is so and so and all this data should get stored in the variable a so the variable a will contain this information that's it getting it now once i have this a variable containing the information next thing that i'm going to do i'm going to add a file picker so this appears slightly tricky but again it's quite easy i'm telling you so click on this go to the general tab and here in the label i am going to say download okay so the a variable contains the file name also right you remember it has, it also contains the file name i am going to highlight this and there is something called value binding in the value binding i am simply going to select the variable a so that means whenever this page loads the a will get some value and the value will come to this file picker activity and if you scroll down the file picker activity has something called download only it can be only used to download so select this box that's simple now see what happens let me go to the main page click on preview let, let me show you then you will understand all those things we have done why we have done it you will understand give it few seconds for it to load so it has loaded now i'm going to hit on download so what would happen that page will load the moment page loads i have created a rule get file from storage bucket and assigning the values to the variable a and the variable a was linked with the file picker that's why the name has appeared here and the download button has come because we have checked the download only getting it now the moment if the customer has you know wants to download if he clicks on it you can see the file got downloaded so this was the image so it got downloaded getting it so this is how it works okay you can see it, it, it is getting downloaded here and i'll be able to see that you know whatever it gets downloaded i can see that getting it so this is how you can configure downloading a file from a storage button so thank you for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care and do not forget to subscribe we are going to meet once again in our next content bye bye